Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to talk to you about what to do if you're ever arrested. Okay? So, for some reason, this is information that is not really given by anybody at any point. Not by parents, not by educators, definitely not by law enforcement, <clears throat> but it's something that you really need to know. Excuse my voice, guys. I'm sorry. I'm losing a little bit. Um... So if you ever get arrested, you're going to be asked some questions, okay? If the police are acting in accordance with their own laws, they're first going to make you aware of your Miranda rights. They're also likely going to have you sign some papers acknowledging that they told you these things and that you understand these things. What those basically are, those rights, are that you have the right to not speak, you have the right to remain silent, and you have the right to an attorney, should you want one, okay? Uh, it also says, though, in those papers that you'll be signing, that anything that you say can and will be used against you, all right? So, I don't know how fucking people are so stupid, but almost in all cases, for some reason, when people are arrested and they're being asked questions, they're being interrogated, they're so fucking dumb that they're, they give up everything. They give the prosecutor his whole entire case on a fucking silver platter. Recorded audio and video. So all they have to do in court, if they, this ever goes to trial, is just play this shit for the jury. Here it is. He gave us everything. He admitted it. He told us everything. You have to be aware that the people who are asking you questions are not just regular cops. They are the cops who are trained especially for this, to interrogate. They're trained in psychology. They're trained in manipulation. So they are using tactics that you are not sophisticated enough to understand. For that reason, and many others, the answer to what you do when you're arrested is, you don't say a fucking word. Nothing. You can provide basic information only. Name, address, date of birth. That's it. You don't say shit. They start off typically with the friendly bullshit. The cops come in and they try to be real nice to you. And they try to lower your guard a little bit. And they try, you know, they offer you water, ask you if you're comfortable. And they start with the questions. Start. And then later on, they'll, they'll reverse it. And they'll flip out and, you know, good cop, bad cop. They're all weak-ass bullshit interrogation tactics. I wish I had the tapes of the times when I was interrogated because you'd all fucking laugh and think it was hysterical, the answers I was giving to them and how I was fucking ripping these guys up for this shit. Ripping it up. But you can't be stupid. Don't fucking give them information. Whatever you say, no matter what, some of you may think, okay, it's better if I give him an explanation, at least. And it, it doesn't help. Even if you're not guilty of something. If you are being questioned, don't say a fucking word. Please. Just explain to them, I'm not answering any questions. I'd like an attorney. That's it. Or, I'd like to exercise my Fifth Amendment right. I'm remaining silent. That's it. No matter what they say, you stick to that. They're always going to try to tell you that we want to help you. You know, you got to help us. This is your chance. This is your chance to help us so we can help you. You know, if you do this right, it's going to make a huge difference for you. Let me tell you something. I can't even imagine how many times that one tactic has been used where they say we're going to help you if you cooperate and tell the truth about what happened. Just let the truth come out. Those detectives that are making you those promises, you will never fucking see those faces again, except for when they're testifying against you in trial. They will never fucking help you. They cannot help you. It, and it makes no sense how people can't see that these people are telling me they're going to help me, yet what they're trying to do is put me in fucking prison. What kind of help are you going to give me? I don't need that kind of fucking help. It doesn't happen that a judge is going to take into consideration if you're a fucking murderer, you're a fucking murderer. 
Make them work for it at least. Let Make them fucking work for the conviction and for that fucking life imprisonment you're going to get. Don't fucking give it to them. The judge is never going to consider what whether or not you spoke to the cops during interrogation or you were nice to them and revealed information. They don't give a fuck. They just want to convict you. Remember, they're not your fucking friends, no matter what they say to you. And also remember what I told you. They're much more sophisticated than you mentally as far as the tactics that are being used here. Understand that. Understand that not everyone, few people, are able to break down the psychological tactics that they're using and realize it in real time while it's happening. That's why my, my interrogations were so fucking funny because I, was, I saw right through their bullshit. So obvious to me. So please, guys, I hope you never get arrested. I hope none of you ever end up in this predicament. But if you ever remember one fucking thing from all my videos, this is the most important thing if you do get arrested. Shut your fucking mouth. Stay quiet. Do not say shit. And when they put you in a cell, do not fucking talk to anybody in these cells. They are not your fucking friends. There are rats in the cells waiting who are going to come up to you. You're going to think you did well because you, you didn't say anything to the cops. But now this guy's coming up to you asking, hey man, what's up? What are you in here for? Bl pulling information from you. And as soon as he gets enough information, he gets on the phone and he calls his lawyer. And he tells him, call the prosecutor. I got some information I want, I want to give them to lessen my sentence, my punishment. Don't fucking talk to anybody until you're sitting with your lawyer. That's the only fucking person you talk to from the time you get arrested. Do not, no matter what they say, do not fucking speak at all. Please, you will fucking thank me for this and your lawyers will as well if it ever happens to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.